What's up everybody? Steve Johnson here. Um, we're here to talk about another episode of the Jailhouse Strong programming um, that Josh Bryant has me going on. Um, this is basically my deadlift day currently and um, he has me warming up with a cambered bar or a uh, safety squat bar or anything like that. Um, trying to save my elbows, trying to save my shoulder. Um, right now we're going through a hypertrophy phase, so trying to put on some more muscle mass. So he has me doing lots of sets and reps, um, stuff like that. But uh, this particular part of the program, he has me doing uh, the cambered bar. Um, the cambered bar at first I did not like. Um, I didn't like that it did like what's called a crankshaft motion and uh you know when you would squat down in the in the squat position it would shake back and forth and uh cause you to be a little bit unbalanced but i learned to love that por part of the bar and uh you know basically what it's making you do is work to keep yourself a little bit tighter um my arms are down lower um i'm not pinned back like in the low bar squat position with a straight bar um it's uh, making me very really activate my lats the entire time during the squat in order to stay balanced. So basically what you saw there was my warm-ups leading up to the working set. So this would be the first set. He has me doing 365 pounds for three reps um, every 60 seconds, uh, three sets, and that's prior to my deadlifts. So right here is the first set um, just trying to uh, stay tight the weight's pretty light um, staying tight keeping my my elbows basically trying to pull my elbows back keep the bar from wobbling but uh, part of the bar is to give you that instability um, like I said earlier to make you work in the squat that much harder slash help your elbows out so it looks like we're on a set three here. Uh, last set, every 60 seconds, just like I said, has me doing three, three sets of three with 365. And uh, part of the deadlift, deadlifting that he has me doing right now is uh, Last time, when, before I pulled the 909, he had me pulling off the trap bar, um, off the high handles. As you can see, I flipped that bar over, and uh, we're doing low bar, or low handles now. Uh, make me work a little bit harder in the deadlift. Um, we're going for reps and sets with a higher percentage of my deadlift max. Um, the low bar is obviously much harder because the high bar puts you in a little bit more of advantage because it's at your knees and basically put me at my strength point whereas this is uh, at a disadvantage is more towards like where the normal deadlift bar would lie if I was to deadlift in my conventional stance um, these definitely single-handedly were a uh, part of the process of me being able to pull over 900 pounds um, low trap bar is definitely going to save your back and uh, you know be ready to pull big when we get back to the straight bar. Um, here's the first set. He had me doing 620 for two sets of five reps. And as, as you can see, I try to pull the bar with as much speed, as much aggression as possible. On most lifts, I try to do that. Um, that's Everybody's asking me how I am able to pull with such speed. And honestly, I, th I think it's because I train like that. Um, also part of it was farmer carry so that's 310 pounds each hand um, yes I have grip strength I can hold that it is tough but I am using the straps as you saw on the last um, even on the deadlift and on this um, so what's been happening lately is I've been tearing my hands open tearing these calluses open which has been preventing me from going um, I gotta wait around for my callus to heal in order to, to deadlift again so that kind of sucks. So the straps have been kind of helping me prevent that. Um, this blurred vision right here, the camera 
for some reason wouldn't focus on my big ass moving around doing uh, GHDs on the GHD. So um, I don't show all the reps and sets. I think I only show three, but uh, five sets of six reps every 45 seconds. So um, pretty fucking rough. Um, these are a killer on the hamstrings and glutes and definitely also have been helping me in my deadlift and squat um, partially because I was never normally doing them. So this is going to cap off my training day. Um, this 460 pounds and it's for a static hold for 15 seconds. And it's with an overhand grip, not a hook grip. So it's much harder and uh, you have to work for it pretty pretty hard we work up every week and that's basically all the training and uh appreciate you guys watching i'm going to try to make more of these videos so um you guys have stuff to go off of kind of take a look at what the jailhouse strong programming is kind of about and where i'm at so definitely appreciate you guys watching please click, click the subscribe button and follow my instagram at forsaken warrior much love guys thank you so much